Good day to you, Ninth and O. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon, one of the pastoral interns. Good to be with you today. Who among you loves a good story? This guy. I love a good story. If you want to bring me into your group, do it by telling me a good story because I'm just drawn in when someone is telling a story. I love a good story. Now, I'm a storyteller. I grew up around storytellers. My grandfather tells some good stories. My mother can tell a great story. She gives a little more detail. And then I also have become a storyteller. So oftentimes, I look at the experiences in my life and I uh, share those in the form of a story. And we like a story because, well, they're, they have a good beginning. There's usually some kind of a conflict and the good guy, we typically like the stories where the good guy perseveres and he wins at the end of the day and, and you know, he's somewhat of a hero. And so for us today, as we discuss the whole story of the Bible, we, we begin this story with God in Genesis 1, 31 that reads, and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. And so here we recognize in the beginning of the story, here in the Bible, that God is the first is author of the Bible, and he is the hero of every story therein. And so God shows us his authority in his word and that he is creator. Okay, he's created everything. And so everything he has created uh, out of nothing, by the way, um, he brings it into existence by his spoken word. I can't stand here today and say, Apple, and watch it appear in my hand. I can't do that. God can. He's creator. He's the only one who can do that, right? So, he looks at creation. He looks at you and I. He looks at the rocks, the trees, the sun, the stars, the beasts of the air and, and all that walk among the earth, right? And he sees that it's not just okay. His creation's not just all right. In fact, he says, it is very good. And so, here his creation in Genesis 1, 31, is doing exactly what he created it to do. There's the freshness of it. Sin is not even in the world at this point. So everything around is very good. And so that's where we begin our story in uh, the Bible, is that God created he saw everything that he had made, and it was very good, and thus begins the story.